In the free version, um, you can export an H.265 file as you can do in the paid version. Anyways, um, so how do you get this um, H.265 file in the free version? So what you can do is you can just export as an H.264 if you want and then once you export the file you can uh, render it through handbrake and compress it into an h265 file but if you want the best quality i would advise um against that i would just say export a dnshr 444 10 bit file if you have raw footage then 12 bit will help but otherwise 10 bit should be fine then you just export it to your desired location just name it and uh, then you can export it once you export this uh, file and it's done you take the file and open it in handbrake now to get the h265 file you can use one of the presets but i would advise against it since uh, it's better for you to make your own presets according to your to your own needs x265 is cpu encoding same here and same here now if you have a gpu in your computer or your laptop you should see an N nvidia or an amd encoder that will encode faster if you have a fast GPU, but it, the file size will be a bit bigger. So you can use that if you want to. 10-bit um, is it's a sweet spot. I would advise against doing the 12-bit version because the 12-bit is um, not playable in most video players. The only video player that I can get to play it is FMPEG, which you need to run through the command line. So you basically cannot share it anywhere because nobody will be able to, will be able to view the video. So I'm gonna go with uh, issue 65 10-bit. Make sure you set the frame rate to same as source and um, this will just help you with issues of interpolation and judder and all that. Uh, I usually like to get the quality around 18. You can increase or decrease. If you um, decrease it too much, you'll have facts and um, soft footage. But if if you put it too high, you'll, you'll have a big file size. So I like somewhere around 20 to 18. I'm just gonna put it at 18. And uh, leave if you have a slow CPU, just do not touch the encoder preset. Leave it as fast. Increasing this will not increase your file sizes. I will get the same file sizes, but um, the encoding will take a lot longer and it will um, use more frames to interpolate all the things and stuff. If you have a fast CPU, you can adjust, you can move it to medium or slow, but I would not advise doing that. You can leave everything else as is. You can choose your output file location and uh, before outputting just make sure you're going to audio and see how you want to have your audio done. You can just let it pass through. So usually you'll want to use AAC and a bit rate of 192 but I, I can just use 256. Just. All that is fine and yeah so once this is done just make sure you have H265 10 bit or other than that, I think, uh, yeah, we're pretty much done. So you can just um, browse for the location, decide where you want to export it, and you can start in code. If you want to, in, um, if you want to convert more videos, you can just add this to the queue and make another copy of this, or ex um, bring another video, and then you can select that video. For example, I just open this video in Handbrake, and. Uh, I open this video, I use the same settings and I add this to the queue also. Now I have two videos in the queue which I'm going to encode into this H.265 codec. So if you have a lot of videos to do, you can do it this way also. This saves you a bit of time settings. So if you want to save it as a preset, say that you know I might want to use this in the future. You can just go in presets and click on add. Then you can call it a name and you can just add it to your custom presets and this will save all your settings so this way you don't have to every time go and enter your settings you can just choose one of these presets over here i'm going to add this and we have this preset set over here this is i have created my own presets you can also create your own if you like <coughs> and so yeah that's basically it you can use h264 files and encode them into h265 but you lose a bit of quality so i would advise going for the dnx hr files those are better so this, this preset is kind of useless, I'm just going to get rid of it and I'm going to start the queue. So once those files are done, you can just open them in your um, thing and just watch them, it should be pretty fine. Um, as you can see over here, even though there was some banding in the original video over here, it's pretty much non-existent. If you look at one of the files that I did 
um, I just edited it in Resolve and then exported it directly. Here you see you can see a lot of banding. This is the H.264 export. The H.265 export also has quite a decent bit of banding. The H.265 file here it is of a little bit of banding over here. This kind of you won't see it in every video. It's just in the dark scenes where it goes from light to dark. That's where you usually see banding in 8-bit 8-bit footage. The DNX one does not have much banding, so yeah, there we go.